In this video, you'll see how to design a professional template using the Bartender Designer. Select the Start a New Bartender Document option to launch the New Document Wizard. The New Document Wizard walks you through the page setup for your document. It is important to select the printer that you will use. The options in the New Document Setup Wizard will differ based on the printer you select. When choosing your print stock, you can specify custom settings or choose from Bartender's predefined printer stocks. Bartender allows you to set a color or picture to print as the background of your document. The template image option is used as a guide for designing your document. The last page of the new document wizard allows you to review your page setup. To add a text object, click on the data edit icon in the create toolbar. Then click on the template design area where you want to place the object and type the desired data. Then click on the select icon to exit data edit mode. With the text object selected, you can use the text toolbar at the top of the screen to format your text. Bartender supports a variety of fonts including all Windows OpenType and TrueType, Adobe fonts, and most printer-based fonts. You can resize any object by dragging one of the selected object's handles. To deselect, click in any blank location on the template. Bartender comes with more than 400 ready-to-use barcode components, including support for more than 40 barcode symbologies and a dozen international barcode standards. Because some barcode standards mandate a particular barcode size and specific textiles, we include ready-to-use versions of many of these combinations here in the Select Barcode window. Newly created barcodes contain sample data. You can make changes to the barcode by double-clicking the barcode or by right-clicking it and selecting Properties. Select the Data Sources pane and replace the data to be displayed in the barcode. Now let's add another barcode. Your recently used barcodes are displayed in the drop-down menu so they can be quickly selected again. To create a different barcode than your previously used barcodes, select the More Barcodes option. Different options are available to be customized for each type of barcode. You can make font adjustments to the human readable portion or change its visibility. You can also make adjustments within the barcode symbology. Data sources are located in the Data Sources pane of the Toolbox. We can drag a date data source from the Toolbox and drop it directly onto the template. The date data source uses your computer's system clock or your printer's clock to determine the date and will draw the current date from your system at print time. Next, let's add a graphic of a company logo. Click on the picture icon in the Create toolbar to begin the graphic import. Graphics can be linked from an external graphic file or database. For now, let's simply embed a graphic inside the template. Bartender supports many different graphic file types. Choose your graphic and then click in the template where you would like the graphic placed. To draw a line, select the Line tool in the Object Toolbar. Place the Line tool where you want the line to start. Click and hold to draw the line and release where you want the line to end. When finished, click on the Select icon to turn off the Line tool and return to the normal cursor behavior. You can adjust lines after they're drawn using the Select tool. To make changes to multiple objects at once, hold down the control key while clicking on each object to select them. Now, let's add some more text. When you want to use a particular text style in multiple text objects, you can use the Format Painter. With the object containing the desired text format selected, Click the Format Painter brush in the toolbar and then click the new object that you want to paint with the desired format. Now let's add a font-based graphic by clicking the text icon and selecting Symbol Font Characters. 
Use the font drop-down menu to select a font. Double-click on the symbol to add it to your document. Bartender has built-in access to a large online resource of royalty-free clip art. Select Insert from Clip Art Collection from the picture icon. Type a word or phrase describing the image you're looking for into the search field. To import a graphic into your template, double-click on the image. Then click in the template where you would like to place the image. You can create complex shapes in Bartender by clicking the shape icon on the toolbar. Select a shape and place it where you want it on your template. The fill and border colors of almost all shape objects can be changed by using the line and shape toolbar or in the object properties. Finally, you can use the alignment toolbar on the right side of the design area to line up the objects on your template. Select the items that you want to align while holding the shift key and then click on the alignment option. This completes the creation of a basic bartender template. For more information, check out our other resources at support.siegelscientific.com. Thank you for watching.